Hello everyone, welcome back to Sawyer Studios and I am in my New York location for Sawyer Studios up until, I don't know, beginning of August area. I just say New York location because it makes me sound fancy and like an actual YouTuber. In fact, I'm just home for the summer for two months, um, maybe a little bit more than two months, two and a half. Uh, and I will be doing YouTube videos from my home home uh, until I go back to Illinois to my apartment to start up the next and final year of my master's program at the University of Illinois. So I have sort of set up the same setup as my apartment, got some of my favorite boxes from home, uh, put them up behind me in the wall fashion, got my custom ATTE walker right there, really fun stuff. So today we aren't reviewing necessarily a uh, purely Lego product, but we do have a Lego product that I'll be reviewing. and. Let's just say I needed new shoes, and so I have the LEGO Adidas uh, shoes right here. And so I'm really excited to open this up, and let's get into their unboxing. So first of all, it comes in a pretty, you know, bland Adidas uh, shipment box, but that is perfectly okay because I really care about what is the uh, shoe box and what that looks like. So let's just open this up. There we are. And uh, here we go in the boxing experience. So it looks like we get a cardboard sleeve of um, the Lego box that we have right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it out from the cardboard sleeve so we can see what this looks like. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice two by three Lego brick box design right here. We've got, um, looks like a Lego gear head right here. These are the Ultra Boost DNA X Lego Plat, uh, size 10 for me in the United States, but a size nine and a half and a half. Wow, I cannot talk right now. Size nine and a half in the UK, which I wonder, like people in the UK's feet just different. Okay, and uh, I'm assuming I pull on this Lego Head. Yeah, there we are. Ooh. So everyone, if you don't know, I don't like, I don't collect name brand shoes. I could care less, but like, this is a whole new experience. Like I've never gotten like, I guess, name brand shoes purposefully. Like this is the first time I've like sought out shoes. This is a, I've never had an unboxing experience with shoes before. This is blue and red tipped laces. I like that, that goes well with the Lego color scheme. And this sounds like Lego. Let's uh, go ahead and open this up. It looks like we tear this right here. This looks like a really awful, there, okay, we tear that way. Against the grain, Nathan. Wow. So for the price of the shoes, which is it retails in the United States for two hundred dollars, um, it is free shipping on Adidas plus the tax is two hundred fifteen in all. So this was two hundred fifteen dollars flat. These are a lot. This is a lot of Lego um, for shoes and Lego. I mean that's that's a good price. There's what probably I'm assuming they all have the same amount of each color. So if I'm going to give an estimate, that's five green, another five green, that's 10. I'm going to guess 20, 30, probably like, what, 120 bricks right here. Oh, that's, that's a good amount of Lego. Um, a good amount of two by twos right here. And so I guess we're just going to move these to the side and continue the unboxing 
process. We've got Adidas right here, and the Lego logo looks like right there. Oh, now that's cool. The, the shoe paper is an instruction manual. So, oh, oh, oh. this stuff. So here are the shoes. These look really nice. Like, dang, these look good. Um, looking at these initially, they look a little big for 10. Um, I guess we'll see, uh, I guess we'll see how they fit. Yeah, after I, after I decide to put them on. But dang my goodness gracious. These look really, really nice. So, here are the shoes. And I'm just gonna, I wanna show off this this paper, this wrapping stuff, um, looks really nice. What we have here is, um, first of all, we have Lego Adidas for the shoes. Oh, okay, they tell me. So, oh, okay, wow, there's more. There's 36 of each uh, two by two brick, which means that will be 120, 144, 144 Lego pieces in all. You have the soles, the Lego studded soles, which I guess you can uh, remove if you so wish, so choose. You do have the uh, laces that it comes with and the shoes itself. And so the instructions pretty much are take your shoe, you put the Lego in first, and then you go with the laces, and then, uh, oh, well, I guess step two is up here. You put the Lego in however style you wish, laces through, then you put the soles in. The soles are already in. I'm not going to bother taking the soles out. I find it interesting that this shoe over here is the only, like, white-colored shoe, and, like, that's light gray and light gray, light gray, light gray, and that's the only, like, color scheme that shows the shoe all white. But I love the, the yellow frame they did a lot of really good um this is really good uh i guess just design <laughs> uh for this wrapping so good job to adidas for getting like authentic lego feel out of their wrapping so i guess i'm gonna take a shoe and just like the instructions say I'm gonna see how difficult it is to get these lego pieces in Okay, that is, uh, so there is some friction, um, I'm noticing. It's not like, you know, it's not hard. I mean, it does fit like a glove, like there's one piece. But I, I do pick up some level of resistance as I put these pieces in, which like, I, you know, makes sense because you don't want the Lego pieces to fall out. Um, so you kind of want it to like sort of just pop into place naturally. Oh, this is, ow, <laughs> this is uh, hard on the fingers. Oh, okay. So these holes that the Lego studs are poking through, they're not merely just holes. Uh, it looks like there's a four pronged sort of like suction system that um, creates the friction with the stud top of the Lego pieces to make sure that they stay in. Um, I'm just trying to imagine getting these out. I, I'm assuming we just like flex and then they push out, but yeah. Um, wow, this is, uh, from the amount of times I've like built with Lego, this is wrecking havoc on my fingers within the first like minute. So there's um, nine. So the reason why they give you 36 of each color, which I'm just, figuring this out right now, um, is that there are, each shoe side takes nine bricks, so that each shoe has 18 bricks in total, which is 36 in all. So if you want every single shoe to have three stripes of blue, you can. 
Um, so they're pretty much giving you the optimal amount of permutations of color that they provide for you. Now, I'm going to go grab some other bricks after, um, after I'm done with this dumb shoe and uh, see the compatibility of other Lego bricks, whether that be a one by two plate or um, a two by six. I'll try to find um, two by four, mix it up, two by three. Oh, wow, this is, <laughs> these shoes are really not forgiving at all. I guess, so if <laughs> I'm finding it out, as I'm putting these on, it's easier to push each uh, stud through one at a time than all together. So you get the Lego brick in there, go press, press. Uh, okay, that's saving my fingers a lot. Press. So if you're if you get these shoes and you're trying to press them all through at the same time, you're gonna it's gonna be not a fun process to just press, 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 press. Um, each stud one at a time makes it way easier, way less hard on your fingers. Um, there we go. And then let's do this one and call it good for this shoe. And then we'll, uh, then we'll put the laces on. So you can see a completed Adidas Lego shoe. So according to the instructions, which of course I am going to follow, and uh, each shoelace has a blue and red tip. It's not blue and blue and red and red. Um, we're going to place the lace. <laughs> place the lace. <laughs> okay. Okay, here are the laces. The sole is in here, I will take one of them out to show you. Um, it literally has like Lego studs on them. <laughs> so um, I'm curious to see how this feels. The inside of the shoe looks interesting. The sole is being held together by thread and it, uh, so there are some parts that honestly don't look that stable, but like I'm not a shoe designer, so I wouldn't, I would not know. Um, I do, I want to point out that I love the chrome, um, the chrome is a nice touch, so let me get this sole back in the shoe. That's one shoe done. I am going to go grab some other Lego to put in this shoe. I brought some Lego and I wanted to try out a couple different combinations. This would be sort of like the, uh, the combination shoe uh the i want to try some studs see how that works okay studs seem to work great yeah that's in there really quite nicely now here's a question what if i add in uh, a bunch of one by ones hey those work perfectly good to know okay let's hop over actually these are going in better than the lego that they gave us on it i'm honestly all right try one by three see how that works Perfect. Huh. I wonder if uh, these will go in easier. Okay, well, confirmed. <laughs> I don't know if these Lego pieces are just brand new and mine are worn, but like taking a regular two by two brick from my Lego collection versus the new ones went in a lot heckin' easier. 
Um, not quite sure if like these are designed to have slightly bigger I don't know, stud properties or whatever, um, but or if they're just brand new and they haven't been worn in yet. But that was just that was easier. So let's also try a uh, two by three. Did that was pretty good. Yeah, that was good. I approve. That looks ugly. I'm not gonna leave it like that. Don't worry. Um, two by four with holes in the middle. Oh yeah, that's coming in like a glove. Oh, that was so simple. Can we do a piece like this? That's a question. Yes, you can. If you want to. Oh, look at that. Potential cool design right there. Right, here is a two by six piece. And now we're gonna test out how well this goes in. I wanna fit the entire piece in. And just like I expected, this is going in a lot easier <laughs> than the pieces given by Adidas. So if you want to save your fingers some extra pain, I would suggest just um, maybe, I don't know, just throwing these into your Lego collection, using them up, like play with them a lot, um, get them worn down. Uh, and then that will probably make them easier to go in. I don't know. I just know that the Lego pieces I have went in easier than what we just saw. I'm gonna lace the shoe up and then we're gonna put them on and walk around and see how they feel with Lego in them. So here's a fun fact. I always double knot my shoes just because uh, when I was in elementary school, my friend would always like, he'd be that guy who would like, you know, pull your shoelaces and then have them come undone. So you can't do that with double knots though. So um, <laughs> jokes on everyone who tried to do that after because I always double knot my shoes. Anyway, these feel, Really nice, actually. I, so the soles, you can totally feel the studs. I think that's really cool. Like, for me, that's not annoying. I don't find that tactilely annoying to me. Um, there's a lot of, they feel, they feel really nice. Um, you can feel, I can feel like the two by six, probably because it's like a singular brick and it's less flexible when it comes to like, uh, these bricks right here, where they're separated and have some more flexibility, I don't feel them, like, on the side at all. Yeah, they feel good. So I feel like I could, like, you know, walk. Um, so unlike, I guess, I don't know if this is, like, unique to the Ultra Boosts, but, um, when you put them on, there's, like, this part of the shoe flap doesn't, like, come up to allow for an easier, like, I guess, putting on the shoe. Um, this entire flap is connected to the rest of the fabric of the shoe. So you kind of just have to fit your foot into the hole. Um, yeah, but I mean, they feel really nice, you know, walking around with them. Yeah, I mean, like these feel really good. And I really like how, I really like how they look. Obviously, like, I'm gonna be doing a lot of <laughs> modding of what type of Lego I'm gonna put in here. Um, I'm definitely gonna take these laces out right after and figure out what type of Lego I wanna put, but I might just go standard standard blue for now. Um, you know, just the standard striped thing like that. Um, just because, you know, why not? Uh, I might train the, change them out later, but I really like, that's what I really love about these shoes. Like they kind of just, encapsulate the idea of Lego. It's supposed to be creative. It's supposed to be like, you know, here are the pieces given to you in the set. And I'm one of those people who aren't like a Lego purist. Like if you want to make the set better, you want to make it your own, go for it. And so if you have Lego pieces, go for it, put them in there, you know, like <laughs> do whatever you want. I, I even think because of how tightly 
these are. I think if you wanted to, you could put tile pieces in here or like flat pieces with stickers. Like you could like add those. Um, I, I don't think they'd fall out just because of how tight the, the laces are. You just have to make sure that the laces are super tight, but you could totally put tiles in here. Uh, maybe surround them with two, like one by two studs if it's like a two by four tile piece so that it doesn't like shift around. But uh, yeah, I really love the feel of these shoes, the look of these shoes. Um, they could go technically with any outfit, really. I mean, like, the only obscure thing is the yellow sole, which I don't think is that big of a deal, but you can control the color scheme with Lego, and there you go. Something that I just noticed is that the top of this is a 2x3 brick, and so is the underside. I, I didn't see that until I flipped the box upside down for this one shot, but, like, uh, once again, and there's, and there's like, shadow in it, like, texture and all that, it's... Really good box design. Um, the unboxing experience was amazing. I'm very much looking forward to just playing around with the look of these shoes and like, yeah, it's gonna. This is gonna be. It's gonna be very fun to fiddle around with all this, um, <laughs> with all the shoes. So I think these are the best Lego shoes out on the market right now. The other ones kind of look either too too just i don't know too weird with the color schemes they look too out there um maybe they're more for kids i think these are some good quality lego adult shoes like if you wanted to get these as an adult um i think they work pretty darn well so thank you everyone for watching this is sort of studios don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below click the bell icon the bell icon's not on so you can get notified when i'm posting new content join the discord server links in the description Go check out some of these videos. This is a video that I did where um, I pretty much paid my friend, well, gave my friend $100 to completely make over my room. Uh, she also has an Etsy shop. She's selling uh, her own knitted hats. So go check out that video first and then go in the description. Check out some of her hats that she's knitted. They look really quality. They practically look like Shutterstock photos. And then over here, here's a video that YouTube thinks that you'll enjoy. Uh, make sure you check that out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry Studio, see you all in the next video. Peace.